with products like rice, coconuts, and sugar, dominating the production of crops and exports. Agriculture plays a significant role in the Philippine economy. According to the World Bank, 23% of the Filipino workers are employed in this sector as of 2021. However, small farmers have suffered greatly as a result of the government's protracted disregard for the nation's agricultural industry. Welcome to Earth on Core. Today, we will be talking about the biggest problem that our Filipino farmers are facing today. Number 1. Costly Inputs Because many essential inputs are so expensive, many Filipino farmers are unable to increase their productivity. This is made worse with anticipated low prices for rice, which keep many farmers continuously struggling and are often in serious debt. Number 2. Lack of Post-Harvest Facilities For years, Filipino farmers have struggled with the shortage of storage facilities, farm-to-market routes, and the tools necessary to guard against exposure, pests, and natural degradation losses. Due to these losses, a sizable amount of crops are destroyed even before they reach the market, making it impossible for farmers to produce enough to turn a profit. Number 3. Climate Change Food quality and access are also impacted by climate change, which can also affect food availability. For instance, decreasing agricultural output may be a result of expected temperature rises, modification to precipitation patterns, modification to extreme weather events, and decrease in water availability. Number 4. Market Exploitation over the past generation, the rice markets has undergone significant transformation. Filipino farmers are being priced out of the market by cheaper imports from Vietnam and other Asian countries. While domestic rice consumption has also been slowly declining over the past few decades, as was already mentioned, the price of significant inputs just keeps going up. This has put great pressure on rice farmers all around the nation, leading many to give up farming and try their luck in the cities. Number 5. Land Reform Policies Amid expanding urbanization and rising population, agricultural land reforms are essential to fostering investments in a sustainable land management and food production. Agrarian land reform policies were put in place by majority of ASEAN countries decades ago to assure better living condition for its farmers as well as food security. On the other hand, the Philippines has been slow to put its own diluted approach to land distribution into practice. As a result, many farmers receive their land too late and insufficiently, which frequently drives them to sell the land they do receive. Do you agree in our lists? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.